in terms of structuring your own upper body workouts, how do you do it? Well, for me, I had a uh, AC joint pain for a good year and a half, maybe two years. Uh, I tried to push through it for a couple months, trying to relearn form and just kind of tweaking a couple things didn't really help. Um, so I really got into looking at my structure, what was going on, come to find out it was my hips, right? So a lot of people don't know if you're in, <laughs> dude, if you're an in flare, out flare and your hips and your sacrum's rotated, it goes up to your shoulders and rotates the opposite direction. So if you're on a bench and your pelvis is rotated to the left, your shoulders are rotated to, to the, the right, right and one's going to be pressing out more, you're going to over time have shoulder pain, right? That happened to me and uh, I just pressed this way for a long time and I really had to take a step back focus on again the tissue quality in that area because it came became so fibrotic around the ac joint trying to just keep all of that intact it was inflamed working on retraction and depression of the shoulder before i press so doing like um an inclined face pull working on the mid and low trap fiber before you pick your major movement oh or yeah like push movement for the day yeah, yeah. so like i'll come in um, I'll go through some basic mobility stuff, maybe some shoulder cars, like some shoulder circles, very controlled. Um, after that, I'm going into like a banded face pull or rear delt external rotation kind of multi-joint movement. I try to add into the external rotation into the face pull. Yeah, it's there, but I really focus on it. Mm -hmm. And again, you can do these exercises and not get this result. So it's more of the intent, mm -hmm. right? Really making sure my shoulder blades are working. I'm watching, I'm looking at the mirror. I'm not just, you know, talking to my friend. Minute. Yeah, doing this, right? I'm really focusing. And then when I get into the bench, what is supposed to be happening? What was I lacking, right? For me, it was lat tension, right? Using my back. A lot of people are like, what do you mean using your back? You're doing chest. Dude, your back does a lot in the bench press. Mm -hmm. Probably more than your, your chest. Let's be real. Like you're locking those shoulder blades into depression, I, I hear what you're saying. Like, so yeah. from an you're overall mechanic. Like from an isometric yeah. right? yeah, yeah, like, stabilization. Like, for sure. They're like, working super hard. Yeah, yeah, you're not rolling. I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're not the prime mover, exactly. but yeah. they're the prime stable. Exactly. Right? And so just yeah. learning that exercise and kind of that cue um, and really focusing on it. Yeah. And to this day, I still do a warm up, you know, straight arm lap pull down or just a lap pull down, uh, the shoulder circles, the face pulls. And yeah, that's what I focus on before just to have healthy shoulders. Yeah, so it's not really, it's not necessarily the, the, the choice of exercise that we're talking about here. It's the structure of the workout that we're talking about here and, and, and how you put together the movement patterns in preparation for the yeah. other things that you're going to do. And then how you follow up those things with the things that add on strength or add on stability or add on. Well, that's great that you said uh, that, right? Because you're talking about the exercise doesn't need to change. Yeah. You're like, I actually did change it a little bit. I, I increased the, the flat. I went to a slight yeah. incline. Yeah. yeah, to take the to take the pressure off the press the, for a the bit, GH yeah. joint, and then and brought it back down. Is. But yeah, I mean, you can manipulate. Like, you don't have to press from a flat position if your shoulders hurt or right. if it's just not good I for don't. you. Yeah, or barbell press for that matter. I, I don't. 